All right, so there are a lot of persons having problems connecting the wireless on their green packet devices. In this video, we'll be showing you how to configure the Wi-Fi on your green packet WiMAX modems. This is applicable to the green packet DX250, the DV235, and the MF250 MiFi hotspot device. If you are using the DX250 or the DV235, first disconnect from any wireless networks and connect your device via the Ethernet cable. If you are a MiFi user, connect your device via USB. Once this is done, go to the address bar of your browser. Now enter the IP address 192.168.100.1. This works for any of the devices. Now press the enter key and you should be greeted with a login screen. This is going to require a username and a password. The default credentials are user in lowercase for the username and the password is user also in lowercase. Enter these then click OK. Once you are granted access, go to the networking tab. In the drop down box on the right of your page labeled use default, select user defined then click the next button below. For our common settings section, you will input a name or phrase you want to be displayed as your Wi-Fi network. In this example, we choose to call ours My SSID. On the right where you see the heading Security Settings, select the security mode you wish to use. For this example, we'll be using WPA2-PSK. This is the most secure authentication mode for Wi-Fi networks at the time of making this video. For encryption type, choose both TKIP and AES, so as to support devices which may use either. Now, in the box labeled WPA2-PSK, this is the area you want to input your password or Wi-Fi key for your wireless network. Input a name, word or phrase you wish to use for this password that is easy for you to remember. For this example, we use password123 as our Wi-Fi key. Now, when all this has been done, click on apply. You will be logged out so you will need to re-log in. Once granted access again, go back to the networking tab. You will realize that the last changes made are still in effect. Now browse for Wi-Fi networks and you will now see the name of your new SSID that was just created. 